Hey YouTube, it's Marita from The Nurse Lounge and today we are going to do my favorites. So I have a an array of things that I've been using for the past, I wanna say two to three months that I have enjoyed that I wanna share with you all. So if you wanna see some of my favorites that I've been using for the spring, stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So I have been using a lot of these products. I have a lot of products here that I wanna share with you that I've been using for the spring. And um, some of them, most of it is makeup, but some of it is things that I purchased on Amazon, which I'm gonna do a whole other video um, dedicated to Amazon favorites. But here's a few of the things that I wanna show you. I'm gonna get those things done first and then we'll go into the makeup. Um, before we do Amazon though, I want to do um, some cleaning products that I have found. And I'm, I'm really big into, um, disinfecting and due to the whole COVID situation, disinfecting products with bleach and things like that that kill viruses. But here lately, I have picked up this product by um, Mrs. Myers Clean, Mr. Myers Clean Day. And I've gotten the Peony scent and I think this scent is divine. I happen to love this. And I've also picked it up in the dish soap. And this right here, when I tell you I just go spray things and clean it just because of the fact that I love the scent, this is something that is definitely worth your coins. I paid, I think, $3.99 for this one right here and probably around the same for this one. I'm not sure. I picked these up at Target. And again, the Peony scent is definitely something that I love. If you all try these products and you have another scent that you like, let me know so I can try those products out, that scent out as well. But right now, this is my favorite from that line. All right, so now I'm gonna go right into a few of the things that I picked up from Amazon that I happen to love and that I've been using. And then we'll go right into um, body care and makeup. So let's start with the earrings that I have on. These say Naturally Dope right here. And this is just wood, a wood earring with a carving out of an afro, a lady with an afro. If you can see up close right here. And I just really happen to love this. This my hair in the background, so you can see it looks like she has this afro. That's what it looked like naturally, just as such. But I think this earring is definitely something that is very chic. You could dress this up or down. And I think I spent maybe six or seven dollars for these earrings. It comes with just a regular, you know, hook right here. And again, I happen to really like these earrings. And I picked them up from Amazon, and I think they're really, really cute. Really, really cute and definitely something that I um, plan to get a lot of use out of and I already have. I think they are just lovely. lovely. Um, the next thing I wanna show you all is this headband. I'm not really into headbands per se, but this one I had to have. I got this on um, Amazon and it is a Gucci inspired headband. And as you can see right here, it has the, the B, you know, that, that's known. And this is what it looks like. I also have it in other colors. Let me get my other colors out. I have it in the black, as you can see. I have it in blue with the same B. And I also have it in pink. And pink is one of my favorite colors. So, you know, it happens to look gorgeous. Let me try on the black one for you so you can see what it looks like. So it looks as such, as you can see, see right here, how it looks on my head right here is very, very cute with the B here, this little knot thing here. And I want to say I got all three of them for um, roughly about $12.99, I want to say, for all three. Very, very cute, especially if you happen to like Gucci. These Gucci inspired headbands are gorgeous. Again, on Amazon. The next thing I want to show you is this purse that I picked up from um, Amazon and it just arrived today, but I can already tell you I'm going to love it. I plan to order this purse in other colors and it is this one right here. It is a, this is a mustard colored purse right here and this is what it looks like. It is very, very, right here is very, very cute as you can see. Um, I'm not sure if it's inspired by any brand. I'm not very well versed on things like that, but I thought it would be a really cute side, um, a messenger bag or crossbody bag. It has this little pull tab right here and it's magnetic as you can see. I have not emptied the contents or the inside out, but you can see the little strap right there, the shoulder strap. 
And again, I just thought this was very, very cute. And they have this in black, white. Um, this is mustard. They have one that's called um, apricot, apricot, but it's, to me it looks more like a beige or tan. And they have one more like a cognac or brown color. And I plan on, and one in white. So I plan on ordering probably all the colors except for black. This only costs, I want to say $33 on Amazon. And again, it's very cute. As you can see right here, it has this, um, the band that goes all the way down at the bottom. Right here. Very, 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 very cute. All right. Uh, one more thing I got on Amazon, and this is a hair product or something for your hair. And anyone who wears wigs could appreciate a wig grip that basically has this clear panel in the middle. So if you like wig grips, instead of having the clips of the wig get into your edges and basically um, have you lose your edges. As I was saying, this wig grip right here has this clear panel. And with this clear panel, basically you don't have this showing. So when you wanna have that part, that center part as such, I actually have on one right now underneath this wig, you're not seeing the cap at all. You're seeing this clear panel right here. And so I got two of these on Amazon for, I want to say $9.99 a piece, but I definitely love this wig grip um, better than I do the, uh, the the regular ones because of this panel right here. And of course, if you want a side part, you could just move the, you could just wrap it around over here to the side instead of having um, this over here instead of right here. But again, this is something that I love, love, love. This is my second one. I'm wearing one right now. Again, you can see right here where it, you can't tell that there's a cap underneath there because of the fact that I have this clear panel right here. So this is a must, must, must have. All right, now we're gonna get into bath products and then we'll be ready to go into uh, makeup. So right here, I have the Oil, Oil of LA Cleansing and Brightening Vitamin C Body Wash right here. This one right here is one of my favorite body washes that I'm using, I keep in rotation. It costs about $8 at um, Target and it's the one with the yellow, as you can see right here, cleansing and brightening. And it has those like flecks in it. So therefore it causes your skin to like have a iridescent kind of like a glow to it. And so I really like this product right here. It smells, smells great. And again, I will continue to use this in conjunction with, they have this one right here is the Olé Rinse Off Body Conditioner. I happen to love this as well. They have a conditioner that actually matches this one that has the yellow, but this one matches the other one. The one that matches this one I like, but I like this one, this conditioner better, rinse off body conditioner. What you do with this basically is after you finish showering, you're gonna you're going to put some of this on your um on your on your body basically, and you're gonna rinse it off. And when you come out of the shower, you do not need lotion. Um, this conditioner is so good, it has your body soft and supple and I honestly don't have to put lotion on um, after using that product. I happen to love it. Um, and then another one that I'm new to is the Dr. Bronner's um, 18 in 1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. I saw this from another YouTuber and I was like, you know what, I'm finally going to try it. You do have to dilute it. So I have used a lot, but actually because you dilute it, that's all I've used. But I use this, this peppermint one mainly at night because it helps with the aromatherapy aromatherapy and it really helps me rest well and I feel clean after using this Castile soap by Dr. Bronner's. I do plan on using some of the other um it's made with organic oils and I, I definitely plan on using one of the other scents or just trying them out but this one right here is one of my favorite 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 um I use it as a body wash you can use it for anything really it tells you 18 different ways on the bottle to use it, it tells you to dilute 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 um, but you can use it to shave, you can use it to, to bathe with, wash your hair, you can do it for um, for laundry, mop your floors, wash your dog, you can use this for all kinds of things. I happen to love this peppermint scent right here. Definitely something great to have for your bedtime routine, especially if you, especially the lavender as well. If you happen to like these kinds of things and the aromatherapy to get you ready for bed, this is something that you wanna try. All right, so now we have one more body product or two more actually. This right here is the Tahitian uh, Vanilla Bean Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. I have been using this product and I really, really like it. It's something that I use as a body exfoliant, if you will. I 
basically, and it smells great too. I basically use it to basically exfoliate my skin after a very good shower. You want that soft, soft skin. And especially for those areas such as your elbows and for your um, knees and things like that, ankles, this is something great besides your actual body to just, you know, kind of scrub and get your dead skin off. So next we're going next to, we are going to now get into um, some makeup. Before we do, we're going to look at this Dove Dry Spray. It is an anti-parasprint um, and I got, the, this is something that's not new to my favorites, but the scent is. So I usually buy the Caring Coconut, but this one is the Shea Butter and I happen to love this scent as well. This is what I've been using for the past two months. And I happen to love this and it really works well considering my nurse and I work at the hospital and it keeps me dry all shift long. So I happen to love, let's see if it's gonna pick up. There we go, um, this this particular deodorant. All right, so as promised, I've been keep on telling you about makeup and things like that. We're gonna do skincare and some makeup and things like that. I'm gonna go in no particular order. So it's gonna be kind of random. Um, I'm just gonna go from this side to this side so that I cover everything. All right, so we're gonna cover everything. We're gonna start with a few of my setting sprays. And again, this is in no particular order. I'm just grabbing things. And one of my favorite setting sprays is the Make It Last by Milani. It's the matte setting spray. And it's a 16 hour wear uh, matte charcoal setting spray. And I have oily skin and I happen to love sprays that kind of help me set it and forget it where I don't have to worry about blotting all day. This product is the truth. $9.99 at, usually $8.99 to $9.99 at Target or Walmart. I keep this on standby. I have plenty of bottles of this right now. It is the best thing for me for my oily skin to keep me at bay, especially since we're heading into the summer months. I It is 93 degrees today here in Tennessee or in Nashville, Tennessee, close to where I live. Close to where I live. And I love this setting spray. The next one I have been trying that I actually love is the Morphe Continuing Setting Mist in Sweet Peach. It is very, very cute. I love the, the bottle. It smells just like peaches. If you think about the Too Faced line and the Sweet Peach collection there, this is exactly what that smells like. If you do not like the way that smells, you will not like this product. Um, it is not a matte uh, setting spray, but I do like how it smells and the mist that comes out and the aroma is divine so i happen to love that one as well this was a limited edition it comes in i want to say 1.5 ounces and i it resold for ten dollars on ulta that's where i got this from then we have the actual morphe mattifying continue continuing continuing setting mist this is in the white can you know they have the original one and then they have come out with the luminous one which i do have that i use from time to time but this one is the mattifying continuing setting mist and i happen to love this one right here as well make sure you shake it up real good before you apply it but it's a very good setting spray to have all right next we are going to look at my um skin a few skincare products that i have again this is no order i'm just throwing things out here and in my skincare products i have things that i actually did a dedicated video on and it's the minimal glow product products and this is the minimal glow the 20 percent vitamin c drops with hyaluronic acid sericin and some other things i can't pronounce and this is what the bottle looks like right here I am virtually, you can't tell, but I am actually down to right down here. I have another bottle on standby. The vitamin C drops actually very help very well with keeping your skin supple, hydrated, fine lines, wrinkles, things like that. All the things that we don't want when we get older, this really works for. And I can say to you that this product really, really works. I really like this product on the Minimal Glow line. And then I have their Minimal Lumen Dark Spot Serum. I have um, hyperpigmentation due to acne scars because I have acne prone skin. And this product right here really does help with minimizing that and fading those dark spots. And I have to say again, this works. I want to have makeup optional skin where I do not have to wear makeup every day, but if I choose to, I have good skin underneath. And then the last minimal product is the Minimal Balance Skin Brightening Oil Control Toner. Again, you can see where I am down here. I already have another one on standby. These products can be purchased from the Minimal um, Glow uh, Skin Essentials line. And again, I love these products. 
All right, so now we're gonna go into a facial cleanser that I've been using. And I use this one pretty much every single day. And this is the Ole Harrison Truth Juice Daily Cleanser right here. You can see the bottles, the containers all dented. It's because it's about empty. It's literally down here. I already have my next one on standby. So this costs, I wanna say 28 or $32 or something like that at Sephora. This is where I purchased it from. And I happen to love this product for my facial cleanser. It claims to do a two-in-one in terms of taking off the makeup and cleansing your face. I cannot attest to it taking off the makeup because I don't use it for that. I use Marcelo Water for that by Garnier. But this does for me a great job of cleansing my face. I don't have to really do a two and three double cleanse and triple cleanse with this product because I actually do a very good job getting makeup off with my Marcelo Water. And then I follow up with this product right here. All right, so next we're gonna kinda go into, um, let's just say another product that I love to use is the Pixi um, Glow Tonic To Go. So they have the little containers where they have the glow tonic where you pour it on a pad and you use it for your face. Well, this one right here is basically where you it's already poured on the pad. All you have to do is take one of the pads out and cleanse your face that way. And I happen to love these. It has 60, I wanna say in here, is it 60? Uh, what is in here? 60 pads, yes, yeah, 60 pads are in here. And again, the Pixie line is great. You can purchase this at Target and Pixie.com. Um, and again, this is what I use when I, as one of my products that I use for the glyconic acid that's in it. Is it glyconic acid? Yeah, and aloe vera. And so I use that to help with, again, with the skincare regimen. I happen to love good skincare regimen. I love makeup but I will spend $1,000 or more easily on uh, skincare products because I feel that in order to have a great makeup application, you have to have a great foundation or a great canvas to put your makeup on. So skincare is of paramount importance. Now, when it comes to skincare, also they have this um, African black soap right here, as you can see. I happen to not use this to cleanse my face, but I use this soap to actually um, cleanse my brushes and my sponges. And I got that tip from Andre Renee in terms of what she uses hers for to clean her sponges, or not her sponges, but she uses it for her brushes. I use it for both. That's why you can see that little indentation right here of what it looks like. Um, but this is the African soap. And I really have to say to use this for your brushes, it really kind of helps because it is intended to use to help for acne prone skin. It really helps not only clean the brushes, but make sure the, the, the makeup is removed from the brushes in addition to making sure that when I use the brushes again or my sponges again, it definitely helps keep my acne scars or my acne flare-ups at bay because I've been using this product right here. And I can get this product probably about four or $5 at Target. I think it's four eighty-four or something like that at Target. But I happen to love this, the African black soap bar, black soap with shea butter bar. And so I've been using that. And now let's go into, I have a toothpaste here. I forgot to show you all. So my toothpaste is the Crest Whitening Therapy Charcoal with Tea Tree Oil. I had no idea what to expect with this, with this particular line. This toothpaste is expensive though. It's like $7 per tube. So it's definitely a splurge for me in terms of buying toothpaste, but I do love the tea tree oil component in here. The charcoal definitely helps get those um, surface stains off of your teeth. But I don't know what the tea tree oil is supposed to do, but I happen to like it. I feel like my my breath, my teeth, everything is pretty much very, very much clean. And I feel like I have good fresh breath and like I came from the dentist's office. I happen to love this product. Again, $7 at Target or Walmart. I have one product, I'm going out of order here, but I have one product from Bath & Body Works that I want to share with you all. And I happen to love it. It is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream. I happen to love this product right here because of the fact that it smells great. I love how this smells. I took a shower today and definitely put this on. Um, at the time that I purchased this, it had, um, it was, a, it was six dollars, I think, and it really cost fourteen fifty for one of these. So I paid six dollars for this at the time they had a sale at Bath and Body Works. And again, if you're looking for a new scent, a new summer scent, this Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower, which I did not think I would like, 
but I actually love this scent. It's great. So definitely try this out if you're looking for something new to try out from Bath & Body. All right, the next thing we're going to do is go right into some foundations, a, a few foundations that I have that I happen to have been wearing. And some of these are new to me. And some of these are things that I've tried in the past and I've come back around to. And I'm like, oh, what happened? Why did I stop wearing that foundation? So one of the ones that I had stopped wearing, but I'm back to, is the Lancome um, Tint at All Ultra 24-Hour Makeup. It has some SPF of 15 in it. I do have it on today. I am in the color 460 suede, I think. Let's see, what color is this? 460 suede, yes. I'm in the color 460 suede right here. It does have a pump, as you can see. My pump is nasty. But this is the color that I have on today. If you're a complexion twin to me, I do wear 460 suede in this particular one, 370 in Fenty, and um, Rich Caramel in Estee Lauder. So these are, I, I happen to love this. This is, I'm like, why is it, this is what it looks like on my skin. Why is it that I stopped wearing this? I have no idea, but I happen to love it. All right, so that's this one. Another foundation that I have been loving is if you're looking for a pretty good uh, drugstore foundation, the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour um, Foundation right here. It is for um, combination oily skin, and it is in the color caramel. This is what I wear, and I usually wear this one to work. So when I go to work at the hospital and I want to put on makeup, since we're wearing masks, I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup. But um, when I do go full face, this is what I typically put on is the caramel. This keeps me for 15 hours. My shift is 12. But my commute is three hours round trip. And um, that foundation lasts the entire 15 hours. I do have to blot one time, maybe it, 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 towards the end of the day. But for the most part, it keeps me the entire day. All right, so I have a couple of more foundations that I want to show you. There's a couple more foundations that I want to show you. And the one that I want to show you that's new to me, I had a Sephora haul that I did um, featuring this brand that I just learned about. And this is the Charlotte Tillsbury Magic, Magic Foundation. Um, I'm in the color 9.5. And this is what it looks like right here. I happen to love this foundation. It is one of my go-to products. It does have a pump. You can see I've been using it. And I happen to love this foundation. It costs about 40 something dollars on the Charlotte Tillsbury website. But I have been using this foundation religiously. I don't wear it to work, but you know, there's sometimes I do videos and I'm like, well, you know, I wanna go ahead and put on my Charlotte Tillsbury today or if I'm going out. Um, and believe it or not, we're actually going out to dinner now. Dinner restaurants are now open. So when I wanna go out and look, you know, feeling extra special, I'll put on this foundation right here. And then, the matching or i wouldn't say matching but this uh hollywood flawless filter super glow super youth glow it's a it's basically like a filter and i picked this up in the color or shade six and this is what it looks like this right here i love it i charlotte tillsbury has had me sold um the only issue with this brand is the color ranges are not that great you have a hard time finding certain shades for your skin but this right here is really good for me in terms of you know using it as a i can use this by itself and walk out the house and i'm good to go with this glow product on it's a filter product and you can wear this either by itself or you can wear it with the foundation or underneath the foundation and mix it and i find that it's something that i absolutely love um I love wearing this and I have no issue with that foundation. All right, so we're going to continue with the Charlotte Tillsbury line since I actually enjoyed many of the, her products um, from that Sephora haul that I did recently. And the next thing that I've been loving is this Pillow Talk Intense. It is a pretty brown, as you can see, um, lip pencil. And I love this and I match it with the Pillow Talk um the original pillow talk shade right here i don't have it on today but these two combinations i would say are beautiful i happen to love this this will continue to be something i will purchase all the time and i'm truly 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 in love with the whole uh pillow talk line and i'm very much impressed with charlotte tillsbury uh except for the fact that she needs to improve on her color ranges 
for um, deeper pigmented skin or melanated skin. But outside of that, I happen to love her products. And my next thing to get from her is that new bronzer she has out. This is what the Pillow Talk um, look, swatch looks like in front of the lip gloss. As you can see right here, I happen to really, really like that, um, that shade combination. All right, so the next thing from her line that I happen to love is this uh, blush. It is the Pillow Talk Cheek to Chick Intense Blush. And again, I was very much impressed with it. This is what it looks like right here. I do wear this blush and I usually just swirl it all in and just put it on my cheeks. I do not have it on today. I'm not wearing blush today, but when I do wear blush, this is something that I like to go towards when I typically like to, you know, wear blush. Her packaging is divine. As you can see, you see the, the fingerprints on it, but the packaging itself is great. Another favorite of mine from Charlotte Tillsbury is the um, Airbrush Flawless Finish um, Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. This, this is the truth. The packaging is beautiful, as you can see. The problem is with this, this right here is the deepest shade, at least that I found on the website. This is three deep. I have two as well. And I'll probably use two for my um, under eye in the summertime, winter time. But right here, this is what deep looks like. This is not that deep. You cannot, and I do have it on under my eye um, just because I like it. And that's a finishing, finishing powder. I did use it as a finishing powder. But this right here is not that deep. And you might even say this could be even medium if, depend, if you happen to see some of the other shades. But I happen to love this right here. It is the truth. And yes, I will purchase this again. She needs to come out with deeper shades of this though. From the same line, I happen to have been loving the Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Palette. That palette by itself is $75. This is the packaging right here, as you can see. Um, it's very, very chic. I love it. The color story is beautiful. I happen to love these kinds of tones or these kind of shades right here. And I have... Um, Let's see if I can do it right. There we go. I have dived into these shades. I want to say this one right here is one of them. these two in the middle of my favorites. Um, but I do dip and dab in all the other shades as well. But again, I love a color story like this. I am very much into those kinds of shades for my eyeshadow looks. I'm not really big into bold colors, but you know, I happen to love more of a natural look. And such as the one I have on right now, it may not look like I have the Charlotte Tillsbury line that I am loving that I've got on a separate purchase is this mascara right here. This is her mascara um, from, it says full fat lashes and it says a five star mascara. I happen to say I love it. This is what the brush looks like right here and I love it. So I've been wearing this one as you can see. I will have to say it, you know, if I don't wear false lashes, but I will say it does do something for my lashes otherwise. Um, it definitely fans them out, which I love. I love that fanned out look. I already had some on, but I'm just showing you. I already had that fanned out look right here and it's just gorgeous. It's just something that I happen to love to wear. I love that. So this is one of my favorite mascaras that I love to wear from her. I have several mascaras. I'm a mascara junkie as well as a lip product junkie, but this one right here, I happen to, to love. All right, so now we're gonna go into another brand that I am not familiar with. Um, I just picked this up from Ulta when I showed you in my Ulta haul. And it is by um, Revolution Makeup. And this is the Patricia Bright Rich in Life Shadow Palette right here. This palette, y'all, I have been loving this palette. It cost $25, but they, they had a $10 off at, at um, Ulta at the time because if you purchase, I want to say two or more per products or if your total will equal 20, some, I don't know, some dollar amount or more. But I happen to love her, this right here. This, I can tell, was made with deeper pigmented skin in mind. And that's why I love it. Because she, if you know who Patricia Bright is here on YouTube, she is of deeper skin tone and she made colors that would definitely look great if I can get this open. Um, 
on deeper skin tones. So she considered everybody when she made these eyeshadows right here. This is the color story. I gravitate more towards these down here at the bottom. I did, no, I did not. I gravitate towards more of these more neutral colors down here. But I love the fact that we do have a nice, um, this yellow is not doing its service in the camera. Um, this is actually more of a mustard color. And this is more of a pumpkin uh, terracotta color. So they are look washed out here. And this is more of a magenta color. So you really can't tell here, but these colors right here are deeply pigmented. They have the names underneath them. Some of my favorites that I've been using is Biggest Fan, which is right here. I've been using Brown Sugar right here. And I have been loving this uh, Shin Shin right here. Those are some of my favorite colors that I've been using um, here lately. So I love this palette. This is like I said, one of my favorites that I've been using. Um, for the past, since I got it, actually, I've been having this palette for a month, uh, two weeks, I want to say. I've been having this palette for about two to three weeks, and I've been using it religiously since then. Another thing I picked up from the Revolution is the uh, Makeup Revolution is the Patricia, Patricia Bright Summer Sunrise Face Palette. So in this face palette, you're going to get your, your, um, your blush, your bronzer, and your highlight all in one palette. I got the one that was light, I want to say. I think the one that was light is Summer Sunrise. And I will say this is what the, it looks like right here. This bronzer I'm loving. I'm not so much loving the highlight for me. It's a little bit more chalky for me that I don't really care for that. But the bronzer, oh, I love it. That's what I have on right here. This bronzer. I love this one right here. And then the blush, I'm not really a big blush person. It is pretty on, but again, I'm not really a big blush person anyway. I'm more so just a bronze and highlight and call it a day kind of girl. And so I have been gravitating using this bronzer religiously every day. I have put down some of my other ones, my Becca one that I happen to like um, for this one right here. So I've been using that. And then as a subtle highlight, I have been using this product by e.l.f. This is a Halo, the Halo Glow setting powder. It, this Halo Glow is something that's gonna cause your whole face to glow. This is something I would not use for my whole face. I got stains and stuff on it already. It's a setting powder, but it does cause you to glow. Um, I use it as a highlight. So if you wanna see what this looks like, this is the deep shade. If you see right here, this sheen right through here, that's what this is right here. So the bronzer is the Patricia Bright, and on top of it right here, I have this sheen right here this is what i'm loving for that i do not recommend you use this on your entire face because your whole entire face will be looking just like this unless that's what you want that's what you want to go for that's fine but for me i just like that subtle highlight right through here it's very very cute and it has me looking put together at all times so i love this product something i picked up from julia's place we are almost finished is this palette right here it is the the nudes by juvia right here i happen to love again nude neutral colors and so i've been using this not as much as the patricia bright um but i definitely love i definitely love this these kind of colors these neutral colors for something just to you know be ba not be basic but just something just kind of neutral where i'm not trying to do too much but i'm trying to be put together somewhat and i want to say we are down to the last few products and they are from uh, a few of them from morphe and then i have a few from nyx and then I have this cuticle oil that I found that I thought was great. All right, so the, the the Morphe lip glosses that I have been using, and I did another video on this th that I already swatched them, but these are three of the Morphe lip glosses that I happen to love. And these are Pixie, Free Bird, and Freestyle. They are all very similar in terms of their color but I happen to love them nonetheless. And these are things that I wear with usually a, you know, that same lip liner that I just showed you from uh, Pillow Talk along those lines, which was this color right here. I will take a color like this and line my lip and then put this on and blot my lip out. And it's a great, great lip combination. These glosses are glossy, just like I like them to be. And I happen to love them. And I think they were like $9 or so at the on the Morphe website. And you can also get, well, I got one of them at um, Ulta, but I could not find it at Ulta any longer. All right. 
So then we have um, one more thing from Milani. Milani came out with the um, salt and pepper lip kit and they had uh, also a found, not a foundation, uh, eyeshadow palette, which I was not interested in. They had two of them I did not care for, but they have two of these, the salt and pepper um, lip kits by Milani. And this one was called Shoop right here. And this lip kit is basically a brown and I love brown colors anyway. So you get basically, I haven't had a real lipstick and I don't know how long. Oh. This is what the tube looks like right here. As you can see, this is what the tube looks like. This is by Milani. And we have the pencil right here. And so it is a pretty, as you can see, nude color or brown color. And the lipstick looks like this. This is what the lipstick looks like. And then the pencil The pencil looks like this, the lip pencil. So you have the lipstick and then the lip pencil right there. And it's a great, a great brown color if you happen to like brown lipsticks. And of course, I'm someone who typically loves those kind of shades. And so I, I tend to gravitate towards those. And um, that's what I like wearing. So I have two more products and we are done. This right here is a NYX Essential. I have this on right now, as you can see. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Marshmallow, right here. This is what it looks like on my lips, right here. And I happen to love NYX Butter Glosses anyway. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch it for you. And it's a nice mauve purplish color right here. And so that's what it looks like on my skin, but this is what it looks like on my lips. I simply line it with a this will go good with uh, like a bitter, is it bittersweet from, from Mac or from plum from Mac or a plum color? Or if you want to line it with a brown, like with the pillow talk, you could do that as well. But I happen to love this lip gloss right here. I was feeling like I wanted purple today. So that's what I put on, as you can see. All right. And you know, NYX products are what, $7 for these, I think. I'm not sure. But I happen to love NYX. It's one of my quince essential lip products i always have nyx on hand the last thing i want to show you is something i picked up from target and i am wearing these false nails right here okay these are red and when you're doing your nails you want to have a cuticle oil um to soften those things to soften them up and things like that and i never really had that but then i found this look at this this blossom is called blossom infused real flowers scented cuticle oil and it has look at this it has real flowers in here isn't that cute that is so chic i happen to love that so it's just a cuticle oil called blossom i think i paid eight dollars for it and you know you want to make sure you soften and it is scented it smells just like potpourri to be honest with you and you just want to make sure that you you know put some on your cuticles and just make sure they're good to go and to soften them and as you're treating or wearing your nails, I just put some right here. As you can see, you're gonna just rub that in. Oh, it smells great, but that you want some cuticle oil. So you, you use this for that. And this is gorgeous, gorgeous. I happen to love it. I love the flowers in it. And they had another one that had like purple and blue and other color flowers in it. So I think this is something you could put on your vanity even just to, just to set it up there as a vanity piece it is beautiful but i love it and i think i'll do that all right so this concludes my concludes my favorites my spring summer favorites i know this video was long and i happen to love these products if you happen to have products that you know that you like that you want me to try put those in the comment section below i happen to just love makeup beauty fashion things of that that nature um, I only do these videos probably every other month or so, probably quarterly coming up. This is primarily a nursing channel and um, I like to keep it pretty much more, more so nursing than anything, but I do like to dive into other things such as fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I plan on doing more vlogs and things like that. I do work vlogs quite often when I do go to work. 
And if you want to know more about me in my personal life, you want to know what I'm doing when I'm not doing videos, you want to know what my kids be doing, things like that, follow me on IG. You will see the handle here, handle here. You will see it in the banner at the top as well as the description box below. I am a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for almost 16 years. So if you want to follow my DMP journey, yes, I said DMP. I have my doctoral degree in um, nursing practice and executive leadership. So my name is Dr. Marita P. If you did not know me, and if you want to know more, more about, if you want to know more about nursing, I have plenty of videos on nursing, nursing content for you to go look at. So definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe if you have not already. It is totally free to subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You will find something that tickles your fancy. And until the next time, you all stay pretty on purpose. Bye-bye.